Hello, everyone. I do believe this is working. Okay. Uh, welcome back to Night in the Woods. I'm uh, going to continue this playthrough. Just a quick recap. In the last uh, part of the playthrough, we uh, found ourselves coming back to Possum Woods for the first time. We've been away in college, but uh, we dropped out. We're playing as May, who is a 20-year-old uh, uh, black cat, and uh, she's come back to the small town that she grew up in. And uh, we've also discovered that uh, the town's rather run down. Looks like most of the industries that used to be there, specifically coal mining, have uh, dried up, and the, the town itself is kind of dying and contracting. And let's see, the music is a little bit loud. I hope you can hear me over all this. Anyway, I'll just plow on through it. Uh, we've met our friends. We have um, B, uh, B, our uh, alligator friend, uh, who works in a uh, mall. She wishes she could, could have gone to college, but uh, she wasn't able to go herself. Uh, there is... Oh, what's the fox guy's name? I don't remember. Gary, yes, that's it, Gary. Uh, who is uh, pretty nuts and uh, uh, really happy, and he is, has a boyfriend whose name is Angus, who is a lot more serious and buttoned down. Uh, but there seems to have been some sort of trouble with their relationship, but uh, we're not entirely sure what it is. And there's also Jeremy the Crow, but so far all he's done is hang around the parking lot. And uh, there was uh, also this guy named Casey, who looks like he might be a relative of May who disappeared sometime before May came back. And uh, there's a bit of a mystery as to what happened to him, but we don't know for sure. And uh, partway through the playthrough, we came across a severed arm that was lying on a sidewalk. So, with, and uh, yes, and just before we finished the previous episode, uh, just as we finished going all through the town for the Festival of Harfest, we saw a mysterious cloaked figure sneak up on someone and kidnap them. So, uh, we're... I guess we're going to investigate to see what happened. Now, uh, let's continue with this game. As we go back into the small town of Possum Springs. Now, uh, since I played last time... Oh, here we are. So, Harfest just ended, and now we are waking up again. Here is May, and uh, we got some... And there is a mysterious blot, which uh, looks like the person that we saw last night. I'm not sure what the uh, swirl on the right side is. And uh, yeah, there's all our pumpkins from Harfest Festival. And uh, there's the three weird teens that I gave the wrong answer to. All right, I believe you're all caught up. So what better to do than practice base? Because, nope, wrong button. Could play some base, but which song? Uh, let's try Space Dragon again. Because this is the uh, Guitar Hero part of the game, which I am not very good at, but... Let's give it a shot. Why 
Why is it made? That always confused me. So far, so good. in there. That wasn't so bad. And I just realized that Space Dragon is actually a blues song using that blues scale in there. Okay. Oh, we got another note here. How the hell do you s draw a Space Dragon? I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, and what does this do? I've forgotten how to use the controls again. All right, into the matrix. All right, what do our friends have to say? This is B, I believe. And I think I just canceled out of there. I will remember which is the select and which is the uh, confirm buttons. Okay, don't press B this time. Is it X? Okay. Hey, May, thanks so or Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Saying, well, that's okay. It's kind of fun hanging out with B there. Hey, dude. Sorry, couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry, too. Bam practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. Oh, good thing we practiced there. What do these guys do? Way message, born to lose, country trash proud, drummer, skate and destroy, skate to create, bound for glory. Is this uh, ours? Is this us? Uh, I guess we'll find out who that is later. Hi. And all right, that's enough of that sharkle. Hi. And let's get out of there. Should probably go back and try Demon Tower at some point. But on for day three. Shall we unravel this mystery? Oh, what's going on here? Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. We're to take like one. We're to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. Yeah, I guess that's true. How is? Oh, let's take a look at the clock. Wonder if the new clock. Wonder if the new working clock downstairs. Thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. And can we open that bank vault yet? Probably not. Okay, still don't know. So just thinking back to Space Dragon, it's a pretty good song. So they had, uh, I think the music design in general is pretty good for this game. At least I like it. But yeah, just getting those guitar rhythms down, that's uh, not easy. Oh, hey hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you?
Hey, hun. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. I also have the splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later. I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Alright, guess May doesn't want to talk about it, but uh, I guess another thing that was revealed in the previous episode is that the uh, May's family doesn't seem to have enough money to uh, keep paying for their house, so they might be forced to move out shortly. And uh, these guys have been here ever since we came to town. I'm nicely blocking that particular entrance. Gonna have to check on our little rat uh, babies too. Okay, here's our poet. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Man, maybe. Sure. Autumn winds, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? Yeah, I'd like to know what an autumn crime is. Robbing a gas station, then blowing it up. In November. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, and well, we know we're all about the crimes. Let's see what does this guy have to say. Oh! Get up there! I can platform. And yeah, my controller still has this weird pull to the left. If I don't actively hold on the left button, she just uh, goes right. There we go. And this is Varnish the porch, porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Okay. Can you get up there? Nope. I don't think we've managed to get on this particular telephone line yet. I'm not sure if it's possible. It doesn't seem to be. Yeah, okay, let's keep going. See if there's anything changed at this information stand since we're last here. Let's Casey still missing. Alright, well, so much for that. Let's see, there was an old lady who uh, visits the pretzel shop down here. Let's see if she's still there. Pick up uh, an extra pretzel for rock babies. Yep, I bet they would. I bet those rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. So let's be careful. Unless this guy spy us. Let's 
Gotta watch that sneaky eye. There we go. And pretzel yoink. Oh, he's watching. Okay, let's keep going. I kind of like how this game has a theft sim simulator built into it. Oh, almost. This is unfairly easily easy now. Uh oh. Okay, well, let's talk to this woman. What's her name? I forget. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, maid. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store or company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered? His dad experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town, dri driving a big fancy car. Glad I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss, God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk, or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, the guts of all the bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. Ha ha ha, wow. Picks up a rock, puts it through the windshield. Then he climbs up. I'm sorry, but this part's a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? No, I just mean a few folk, other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley. Past the AOK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A very long time ago. Was he... So, what happened with the car? Awkward pause. Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So, like I said, you got troublemaker blood. Hehehe. <laughs> Jeez, I never do this. I don't think your daddy even knows. <laughs> I bet not. You gonna tell? Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. Oh, your grandpa was cool. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. Hmm, I'll see ya, may. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, may Bar Baroski. Hey. Maybe be finding out Miss Rosa is secretly our grandmother. Regardless, she seems like a cool old lady. And... Oh, here at the, uh... Oh, there's Jeremy and the other kids. I think that's Jeremy. Hard to tell. Let's see what's up with the teens. Hey, uh... Kind of a weird question, but... Is anyone missing? What? 
like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I saw something. Okay, uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, y'all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Hmm. Yeah, so... I think there was just four of these guys before. Yeah, all we know about the person who was abducted is that they were sort of medium-sized and they were uh, looking at their cell phone. We skip some stuff. Let's go back uh, this way. So nothing in there. Oops. There's someone moving in. Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Oh, what was here before? I don't remember. Uh, video outpost. Let's see if Angus is in. Yep, there he is. will remember to press the X button. You up for band practice? You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Okay. Angus isn't much for conversation. We got that press, so we gotta uh, take care of our rat babies. And I believe they're over here. Actually, Party Barn. This is, yes, this is where, this is the store Angus used to own. But it got closed down. Because no one wants to party anymore. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Yeah. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. text. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Okay, this is your pickaxe. Let's go see how B's doing. Hey B. Hey B. Hey uh. Thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got like a really bad. My night got like really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Well, don't do that. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think think it's band practice today. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no. He's still at the snack falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Hey, that's enough can of readings for one day. See, I don't like how May is like acting like every protagonist in a horror film right now. They keep, do not keep information secret for no particular reason, especially when there are dead people around. So today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear. What are we going to do without you? Y'all want to see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. And we can go on an outing. You'll see me whenever you go out for groceries. That's true. And I ain't going far. 
Not far at all. The town is a metaphor for dying with actual people. Alright. Time to go apartment hopping. Uh, we haven't actually uh, done that one yet, have we? And, ah! Okay, this controller is becoming a bit of a pain. I have to hold it just precisely to keep her from moving. There we go. Yeah, I must have missed that one earlier. Or it closed itself again somehow. what the payoff for all that's going to be. But anyway, onwards and upwards. Oh. No, I think we're supposed to take the lower path. Oh well. How are you doing? Don't... Did you go to Harfest? Yeah, uh... Ended up in a play. Because my friend B screwed it up. Cool. I ate pizza and watched Blood, Dr Blood Gorgon. Cool. Blood Gorgon? Yeah. Italian movie from, like, 1980. Lots of blood, but it's, like, theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school. Bunch of ghosts kidnapping them. Taking them to the... To the Blood Gorgon? Yep. Hmm. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Ugh, I'm not sure. That's That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone messed up in the mural? You see someone messed up in the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, whole town full of suspects. Ah, darn it! And well, here the most. That's where we wanted to go anyway. Oops. Grab the window sill there. And in. each other? I love you, Miracle Rats. Is there uh, anything in here? Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Prossum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. Nope. 
Oh, we got a squirrel chasing us. And a statue with the missing head. Who is that grumpy person? So there's sort of like this little ghostly cloud where the head's supposed to be. I guess we can go up over here, right? Maybe closer to this side. There we go. And the chimney. There's nothing over here, right? Nope. down street level. Yeah, new possum strings, 87. It looks like uh, everyone kind of hates this town. It's uh, generational. Okay, who else do we need to talk to? So was there anyone on the ground level? I don't remember that. Just going back, I'm, I'm just checking everything compulsively here. Okay, we've checked the party barn, we've checked the statue, uh, B we've talked to, and uh, these guys too. Yeah, and we did the underground and we went up and checked the light, so that's everything. So we just need to talk to Greg now. And maybe take another look at the... Actually, where was it that we saw that spooky guy? It's been like a week and a half since I last played this game. And I don't clearly remember where everything was. Let's see what these guys have to say. It's wet again. And I'm cold again. It's... Just rain. Yeah, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. Yeah. Every bar needs to be standing outside. Alright, let's see what Greg is doing. S Sup, dude? Uh, uh, long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? Uh, just saying hello? You gonna head out to band practice? Uh, let's investigate a little bit more. Just saying hello. Hello. I like Craig's uh, approach to life. Alright, so we're just gonna look around a little bit more with uh, Detective May and then head back to Greg so we can do band practice. I think it was past abilities that was closed up uh, a couple screens back over there. Oh, who's this? This is the mayor, right? Hey, dude. Hey, you? Working here now? Yep, sucks. I guess it's not the mayor. But it pays. Question, how did they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Uh, grillman and janitor. I cook and I mop. At the same time? Yes. Uh, well, if he was in the play, I thought he was the mayor, but I guess not. Maybe he just kind of looks like the mayor. What's this? Oh, just a rectangle. Just a piece of background. And there is Jeremy, our friend. Hey! Sup, kid? <laughs> you smell weird. Why? Is my aunt's car here? Why is my aunt's car here? That your aunt? Yeah? Oh, weird stuff like that makes you a half-cop. Oh, weird that, like, makes you a half-cop. 
You'll never catch me, half cop. Kappa! <laughs> eh, I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harfest? Nah, over it. Cool. I kind of had a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's guaranteed a weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Dunno. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him being out there all by himself. Ah, uh, Casey stuff. He'll be fine. When you, when you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Uh, real talk. Do you actually like watching this play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash, crossover, hip hop. I like Witch Dagger, they're kind of metal. Oh, yeah, I like that Doom shit, right? Da da da! Totally! Mm. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. Like, a guy from the tracks. What? Okay, whatever, I gotta get going. What, what did you do? I was like... It was like some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude. Take this turn out of the parking lot. And start creeping up the hill. Like, 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Arr! Ah! I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was like getting dark, but like, I could see him just standing, standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down. And I got up the hill real quick. Ah! Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ah! I am so upset right now. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? See ya! I uh, wonder if that was the same guy. And yeah, so May's aunt is a cop, and I forget who exactly Casey is. I think he might be a cousin. Uh, what were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. What were you doing out here last night? I think, I think we'll go with Detective Mail for this one. Tell me what you saw again? Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Huh huh. And you chase him down here? Yeah, and I got to got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Uh I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six kids uh Got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting. This is right here. This is... I'm reporting. This. This right here. This is a report. Nay, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing... Uh, any theories, May? Could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks, for you to be right behind them, and then to mirac be miraculously on the other side of the fence. Ugh. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, yeah, you, ah! Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? Must have go they must, it must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, 
me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning, because of what you said last night, from the fence up to the old mine. We found a couple of teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer, and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. Okay. The cop always dies! Yeah, it serves her right if she dies. So, I guess those are the eponymous woods of the night in the woods. But we can't go there right now. So, I, I was thinking the woods were like the woods we passed around the way in, but uh, I guess those aren't real woods. Anything at the food donkey? Nope. Hmm. Let's see if I can rem remember where we saw that kid abducted. Okay. And yeah, everyone in this little town looks depressed. We could go to band practice. Yeah, let's do that. Into the snack falcon. All right. Hey, Greg. What you up to? Just saying hello. We gonna head out to brand practice? Yeah, let's do this. All right. So, what's our amazing song gonna be this time? Uh, anyone else want to talk? Let's talk to B. Um. Ready to play? Ready to play? Yeah. Don't convince Greg. He's all slow today. Can do. Angus. Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, May. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm having a very boring week. Jeez, I'm envious. Eh. So how about that demon tower? Yeah. What you think? I don't know yet. I haven't gotten too far. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. Well, all right then. I guess we should go back and give Demon Tower another try. I feel like I'm gonna be like playing it for hours. Uh, back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. And I realize I keep giving him a different voice every time I talk to him. Hey, dude! You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. And it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down the lobby. Up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop people, random people, from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm, I'm just tired. Fair, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Pumpkin head guy. This is a lot harder. Ah. 
for a thumb. This is not meant to be done on an Xbox controller. Well, me, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Woo, so fast. You just pushed a button. Yeah. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Whoops. You okay, dude? Yeah. No. I kind of freaked out. Probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Dude, ah, uh, dude, that won't be like that. Don't be like that. You got us. Ah, uh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghostly stuff happening around here. Like from a source we can trust, such as, does the newspaper have like a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. If there's like some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a bunch of broken down. It's just broken down. Ah. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. Yeah, just switching between all those keys on this little keypad so quickly. It's my thumb's too big. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like, one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. All right. Pumpkin dead. Pumpkin head guy. Hmm. Oh, here's a librarian. Hey! Close in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Micro microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Anything else? Slow night? Yep. Spooky, spooky here all alone. I'd be scabooped. Yeah. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. All right, let's go find the microfish. You know, I'm old enough to remember those things. Okay, swim around, get all over your books. Oh, and we can't jump. Whoops. Go away, pumpkin head guy. See microfish, wrong button. Looks like looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. 
Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see, experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting, getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally, it should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? And, oh. Holy crap! What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How'd you not know about Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school? The school of being five freaking years old? Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. You were under some curse. You were kidnapped by a cult. You were kidnapped by some cult. And when they were like... Brainwashing you? Instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not... Okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was like this pink F... Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You're scared of it? No, I was bored to death. It was taking forever about... It was taking forever about being... It was talking forever about being kind to others. Like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor doing engine repair. That sounds... nice? Charity Barity helps old Mr. Blanco fix his hovercraft. Uh, no, that's the worst part of it. It always rhymed. Charity Barity. Pink Night Barity. Charity Barity. I just don't care, Eddie. Oops. Ah. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still ma I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Bear Charity Barity. That danger everywhere. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Alright. Oh, can't go that way. Well, that's the pink menace. Where are those uh, newspaper files? Going up. Uh, going up. Oh, this is spookier. <laughs> oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence, or flew over it, or something, while carrying something. Oh right, well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy? Because he took someone, and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through, and that's not good. That always sounds a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Alright, there she is. Cool. Uh, so... I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't even... I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to the... brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea was to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Ah. Uh. Ah, we be friends, Beatwiss? 
Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. All right, all right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow! Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. All right, let's see what's going on. Tragedy at the Stafford Mine. An explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. at the Stafford Mine. Uh, all work was ceased while men attempt to rescue any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive along with 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine and only one group of men were able to escape before the elevator's rope snapped and the next group of men plummeted to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. The main path to the tunnel caved in due to the explosion and supervisors are still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the accident. That's awful. No date, though. Stan Stanley T. Possum stat the Stanley T. Possum statue has officially opened to the public, and we have to say we are smitten. For two cents, one can enter Stanley and spend quite a lovely time looking at the Possum Springs of yesteryear at the museum, enjoying some pup corn and fresh lemonade in the snack parlor decorated with Tiffany glass electric lights before heading up a full ten feet the see the sights of our beloved town through the eyes of this grand possum. Uh, there is even a beautiful train diorama that will delight both young and old. We predict Stanley T. Possum will be a sight that all passing through our town will desire to behold and will be sure and will be sure to draw many crowds. Alright, so it sounds like this happened when the lights were just invented, so that's like a uh, hundred and twenty years ago. And have we seen this? I don't think this is the War Memorial. Or that weird statue outside the church. This has got to be the third statue they're talking about. Okay. Samuel Coulson has purchased 10 acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs. When we inquired as to what Mr. Coulson would use the land for, he would only remark that what was coming here would, both, would delight both young and old for years to come. We are very anxious to be delighted. Hmm, that might be the possum statue. Ten acres of land on the outskirts. Ah, local ghost Little Joe is at it again. As the school children, you are quick. As the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, uh, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story for the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow Country. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local youth, such as, and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers. You may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. That sounds on topic, so Joe Shade, a dead miner whose ghost haunts the cemetery. What else do we have here? Progress in Progress Springs in Possum Springs. Randall Stafford, owner of Bell's Hole Mine Works, has partnered with Samuel Coulson, owner of Coulson Coke Works, Daniel Glick, railroad magnate, and prominent business owner Harrison Schreigeist to make some stunning improvements throughout the town. The four men desire to build a model of progressive living right here in Possum Springs. The old miners' double houses on Elm Street will be torn down and replaced with spacious single homes. A new elementary school will be opened nearby, along with a new state-of-the-art recreation center courtesy of Arnold Applebaum. This is in addition to the improvements Randolph Stafford promised the previously striking miners. Hmm. 
there's been another sighting of albino groundhog from a very reliable source this time. Edgar Stutter reports that he saw a pure white beast digging near Shade Gap. Mr. Stutter has declined to give any more of an exact location and implores his fellow hunters to admire this anomaly from afar and to leave him to his business. We cannot agree more with this upstanding citizen and remind townsfolk that if you are interested in seeing an albino creature, to stop at Studi's Barbershop for a peek at an albino raccoon. We are certain this will assist your mind in completing the search for the groundhog. That's kind of weird. Albinos. Did, uh, was Studi mentioned in another uh, article? I'm, my mind is vaguely tweaked. It's a little show. Samuel Coulson. Uh, maybe not. Uh, Possum Patch is open. Okay, underground gases afflict many. The houses on Larch Street have been evacuated after the discovery of gas buildup in the basements was found to have led to hallucinations in scattered members of the households. For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who begin hearing voices or seeing things that are not there. One older woman was found having animated an animated discussion with an empty chair. When pressed, she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister, who had passed away some 50 years ago. Two nights ago, the son of Carson Zimmer ran out of the house and, in, and leapt into Cooper's Pond uh, a, a one mile a one mile up the road. Moments before the child had been re readying for bed, and according to another sibling, became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song he heard before he dashed out of the house and into the night where his watery grave awaited him. The last event persuaded residents to request a help from officials to see if this is related to St. Leuven's Lantern, a phenomenon where exposure to specific underground gases leads victims to experience waking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and the sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate that the gas is present in the homes and mining officials and mining officials are moving residents until more tests can be completed. Well, that's interesting. Uh, could our ghost be a hallucination? I don't remember if we live on Larch Street or not. Have we heard of Larch Street yet? I don't remember. Well, strike lumbers on. The strike is now in its 30th day with no end in sight. The bosses have refused to meet with the miners, saying that their demands are too fantastical. The miners claim they are only asking the bosses to adhere to safety standards and are already that are already the law. The National Guard was called in after last week's scuffle at the Colson Coke Works Union. Excuse me. The National Guard was called in after last week's scuffle, and the Coulson Coke Works Union has joined the cause, which has caused an uptick in national press arriving at the site. The women's camp has expanded services from serving meals to beating any non-union miner from entering the mines. So far, they've been successful in both ventures. Hmm. Ooh, ghostly rumors haunt New Historical Society. Possum Springs Historical Society's Possum Springs Historical Society Ah, tongue twister. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversation of the Schreigeist House uh, into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after hours doing my work, and I'd hear someone walking around, trying doorknobs. I came out to see who it was. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was never anybody there," said Newsom, trying to get this map room operate, trying to get this map room operational for the children. All the while, I'm looking over my shoulder, expect to see God knows what. Mr. Newsom had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even after, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go into the off-limits areas anymore. I don't go up past the second floor, and then I only go into the office. I know the others laugh and say I'm seeing Little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe? Little Joe, for the uninitiated, was a local ghost story popular some years ago. Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom's claims at this time. Alright, so I know we heard, uh, what was that name? Uh, 
Shri Shrigeist home. Where was that? That was it was a Mr. Shrigeist somewhere. There it is. Business owner Harrison Shrigeist. Uh, Bell Holes, Mine Wars, Samuel Colston, Magnet, and prominent business owner. Stunning improvements to the town. Uh, model of progressive living right here in Boston Springs. With miners. Okay, so they tore down some of the houses and replaced with new houses. I wonder if that was on Larch Street. New elementary school open nearby. Uh, State of the Art Center, courtesy Arnold Applebaum and Randall Strafford, previously. Okay. So, the Shrygeist house, I guess, was uh, built by these guys. Uh, conservation of Shrygeist house in the new headquarters and education center. I guess that was the school that was built. Uh, has resigned. Okay. So, the ghost is haunting that guy's uh, former residence. Sound off, opinion line. We would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This unsanitary habit is unseemly and beneath you. Parents, please be sure that your daughters are not participating in the new trend of skirts showing, skirts showing the ankles. I do not think we need to remind you which road of brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead your dear daughters down. I've been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming into our town on their Saturday night, unchaperoned, using vulgar slang terms, certainly unfit for me to print here, and blocking the sidewalks by walking arm in arm. They are loud and also flirt with boys unabashedly while smoking cigarettes. These young ladies need to be stopped for our young ladies get ideas for our young ladies get any ideas or our or our boys fall with the wrong girl. Young men have been seen around Possum Springs engaging in their ridiculous behavior of wearing mismatched patterns in their suits. This type of outfit may be all their age in Bright Harbor, but the good luck a good luck getting any respectable businessman businessman around here to employ you. You all look like rabid clowns. Councilman Punchkin Sai Sakya Councilman Punch uh Push Pushinskaya Pushinskaya Councilman Pushinskaya's plan for Third Street is a joke. What else is there to say? Okay, got some wisdom from the ancients there. Deep Hollow County Mourns. Final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered, two days shy of the one year anniversary, anniversary of the tragedy. These five men bring, a total, bring the total of dead to 112. Two of the men, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the explosion. Although the mine bosses have been informed that gas pockets were present in that section, they elected not to inform Pine and Harvey of the possible danger. The other three bodies belong to Peter Bledsoe, Christian Stanoff, and Peter uh, Lajtha. Peter Lajtha's funeral arrangements will be handled by Father uh, Leitz, as the man's widow has since returned to Hungary with his two orphans. Some terrible working conditions. Events. The last trolley will make its run September 4th. Ernie Gloss, the longest employee with 25 years as an operator, will pick up passengers starting at the Market Street Tunnel entrance and will end at the trolley garage where light refreshments will be served and a speech will be given by the Congressman Archibald Reed. Twin Club will be meeting at the Stags on Wednesday night at 6 p.m. This month's craft will be knitted hats for all soldiers along with pot luck. The mothers of twins of any age are welcome. Oh, I wonder why twins. Alright, well, we already know that the trolley shut down a while ago. Uh, Strange But True, A Tale of Teeth. Strange But True is our ongoing s series about how weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow country history and culture Strange But True is our ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hollow history, Deep Hollow County, history and culture, published weekly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Boston Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming his workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything, with many a slur and punched the miners' leader. Darnell Glace in the face, causing him to lose, lose his last remaining tooth. The 
The miners knew how much Daniel's tooth meant to him, and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down, while others removed all of his teeth with pliers. His teeth were passed out to miners, and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. Membership was based on owning one of, those, one of these teeth, and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. The boss survived his attack, but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When he died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution had been completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange, but true. That's a creepy way to start a secret society. Uh, 1870 to 1889. So, going to the industrial practices of the uh, previous century here. I don't know, I wonder, could that be one of the things in that vault in uh, May's attic? Or the safe? Well, we'll see. Maybe uh, May's father does know about what his grandfather did. Well, we'll find out. Possum Massacre! Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown at the National Guards. Rocks were thrown at the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the glor and the gory scene revealed. Nine miners were dead, with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle, who was on strike below when the shooting broke out. The photograph of the two children, aged seven and nine, who were shot in cold blood had circulated far outside of our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor and the strike to meet with strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began, 45 days since the start of the strike. Their bosses have agreed, to have agreed to comply to the current safety standards and to honor all the demands of the miners. So, I am starting to wonder if all this mysterious stuff might be related to this. Could that secret society still be around? Could the person who was kidnapped be related to this secret society? Uh, let's see, burning glass. Uh, last trolley will make its run September 4th. Yes, we already read this. Okay, what else? Tragedy at the Stafford Mine. This is where we started. 620. So I think this was 1889, something like that. Where was that date? Okay. 1888 explosion. death so far hopes of finding more survivors is low. The new old store in new old store in town center. The old pickaxe hardware store is set to have its grand opening this Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday and our town will be will benefit greatly from this new addition. Roy Burge is bringing 25 years of building experience into his new venture and has stocked the shelves with all the nuts, bolts, and nails you would need for any project, plus the latest in tools. Stop by and see the latest trends in everything from hand saws to hammers. Best of luck, Mr. Burge. And I believe that is either B's father or grandfather, because that's a family store and that's where B works today. Just kind of inheriting that. Anyhow, strike. Have you read this? The idea arose. Stafford Mine Strike has Stafford Mine Strike has been called. The idea first arose after the memorial for the 1880 explosion victims. Miners gathered in the home of Arthur Borowski to continue the memorial to their friends. They also began recounting all the promises the bosses had reneged on in the, this past year, including basic safety measures to avoid another explosion. A group of 20 miners entered the mines to begin the strike and 30 more joined them before morning. 
All work has been stopped at the mine, and the miners have now been striking in eight-hour shifts. Their wives and children have begun bring have begun to bring food and water to the men. The bosses that state bosses have stated that the mines are safer than they were a year ago, and there is no need to act in this manner. Pie piracy. I think okay, right at the top left corner. Pie piracy, dear citizens. Please make note to keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather we are experiencing. Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchens disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. Until this criminal is caught or the bad weather returns, we remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to rhubarb. Hey, that's awful. Rhubarb pie is delicious. Why would you not want rhubarb pie? Uh, okay, maybe, uh, maybe that's what's in the safe. Maybe it's a rhubarb pie safe. Okay, anything else? The Stanley T. Possum statue, uh, known by residents as Posse, is finally slated for demolition. Oh! Posse closed in 1967, but Richard Coulson, son of Samuel, had hopes of refurbishing the statue for new generations. Posse stood silent for close to 60 years, witnessing the beginnings of the demise of the railroad, the mines, and the coke works that ushered in his existence. Teens and other vandals broke into Posse over the years, and climbing up through Posse became a rite of passage for many young people in the area. Residents have been torn over what to do with their beloved but derelict structure over the years, over the years, but three years ago, pressure began mounting to have it torn down. The storm kicked off, a storm kicked off Posse's ear, and the next year, Ralph Jenkins fell from the staircase and broke both legs. Samantha Coulson Glick, daughter of Richard, finally agreed that it was time for Posse to go. The demolition will begin at 12 p.m. on Saturday, and viewing areas will be set up at a safe distance. Okay, I wonder where that was. Or if there's anything been built there since then. And there's the story of Little Joe. Interesting. Well, we know a lot more about the town now. Uh, Possum Springs, at least one recent. Spooky story, what was going on? Most recent activities in the fall of Canadian. Uh, it's Possum Springs Cemetery. Graveyard in Deep Hollow County. No, that's where we are. That's the entire county that we're in. Uh, let's see. Possum Springs City Council erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tomb zone. It's tombstones. Hmm. Samuel Coulson purchased 10 acres of land on the outskirts of Possum Springs. Uh, when inquired what he would use the land for, he said the only remark was that coming here would delight both young and old for years to come. We are very anxious to be delighted. So he bought the land for the statue, which got torn down 60 years later. Uh, was, uh, Ralph Stanford, owner of the Home Mine Works, has partnered with Samuel Coulson. There's Coulson again. Owner of Coulson Coke Works. Daniel Glick, railroad magnate, and Harrison Schriegeist, uh, whose house is haunted. Okay, I think we're going to have to keep track of who these guys are. They sound like we're going to be running into them again. Or at least they're uh, what's left of them. Derived from this progressive living here in Possum Springs. Double houses on Elm Street torn down and replaced with single homes, which uh, might be on Larch Street and filled with those gases that cause you to hallucinate. Uh, a new elementary school has been opened by uh, recreation, courtesy of Arnold Applebaum. This uh, addition to improvements for Randall Stafford previously... Okay. Improvements Stafford previous, promised the previously striking miners. Okay, so there was a strike. I guess it was at least partially successful, and the mine, the uh, people who owned the mine gave the miners some sort of concession there including a new school and new houses. Okay, so maybe the miners wanted the houses turned, torn down so they could get better houses. Hard to tell. And there's the albino uh, hedgehog. Groundhog. Okay, underground gases. Strike lump is on. 30th day with no end in sight. Bosses refused to meet with the miners, saying the demands were too fantastical. Uh, only asking for safety standards adherence. National Guard was called after the loose scuffle and Colston Coke Works, there's Colston again, uh, joint, oh, the Union, caused an uptick in national press arriving at the site. 
and the women's camp expanded the services. Okay, serving meals and beating the uh, scabs from entering the mines. Okay. Sound off. Okay, got old fashioned morality there. Doing okay, trying to get this map operation for children. Uh, so it'll head sighting strange occurrences. Okay, yeah, so that's Shry Guy's old house. There we go, slipping there. And okay, the strike ended there, and they got the last of the miners out. And so, who was it that was attacked again? Darnell? He denied everything and punched the mine, miner's leader, Darnell Glace, in the face. Uh, the story goes, a local mine boss. Doesn't say which local mine boss. And tore out all his teeth, and then they later stole his skull and used it in rituals. Kind of wonder what kind of rituals a union would undertake. Uh, dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. And ceremonies performed for the retribution. I wonder what kind of retribution. Does not say. This maybe kind of ties in with that spooky guy we saw moving around. I wonder if I'm supposed to click on anything. Hmm. Oh. I was supposed to click on them. Okay, I might spend some more time clicking on stuff here. Hmm, this is interesting, but... Yeah, not exactly but a ghost. New old town center. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost sounds like you don't believe me. Mm. Alright. B would have something to say something about this. This is her family store. Oh well. Uh, strike. This one? No ghost. Okay, so we're looking for ghost stuff. No ghost here. No ghost there. Strange but true, tail of your teeth. Oh wow, this is gnarly and awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I thought maybe like that one. Deep Hollow County Morns. No ghost there? Okay. She only wants the ghost stories. Ghost Historical Society. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Historical Society? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. There is a couple of other ghost ones. Stand off opinion. Spectral happenings, a possum jump. Hey, look at this. Mmm, yeah. Looks like possum jump. Let me read it. It's possum jump. Oh, yeah. That's back in the state park, right? Yeah! Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Miss Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. Or corpse husbands. Uh, co-signed. I don't think I read this one yet. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts uh, were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. Uh, a decent hike up into the... A decent hike up into the State Forest Hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo River, of the Echo River Reservoir. 
It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. The Possum Massacre? What's the Possum Massacre? Is that the, is that the uh, mine collapse? Oh no wait, that was those uh, people who showed up and shot at the uh, strikers. Where was that again? Uh, there's the explosion. Officially open the public. Fresh sun made. Stanley T. Possum statue. Okay, yes, we know about that. Uh, train diorama. Okay. Underground gases afflict many. Uh, this is kind of ghost related. No ghost here. Okay. Uh, purchase 10 acres of land. Uh, little Joe. Ooh, look! Scooch so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like that's in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like an act this is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Oh well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah. Nah, no, let's look at more stuff. I want to take a look at... Yeah. Now this... I'm going over a lot of the same stuff here, but... Uh, I'd like to just refresh my memory. Progress Springs and Possum Springs. The old miners' double houses torn down. Yeah, we read that. Sighting of albino groundhog. Grand gases. Try climbers on. Uh, okay, we read that one already. Sound off a penny line. Group of bodies, two. Okay. What was the massacre? Okay, well that was a cool story, but no ghosts. There it is, Possum Massacre. Severe violence breaks out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. The bosses attempt to renew talks. Taunted by some of the children present, rocks thrown at the National Guard and strike breakers open fire on the crowd. Uh, after a few minutes, the smoke cleared and Koi is soon revealed. Nine miners dead with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle who was on strike when the shooting broke out. Penis uh, act led to personal visit from the governor to the strike to meet with strikers. Independent spike inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began. 45 days since the start of the strike. Okay, comply with current safety standards to honor the demands of the miners. So I guess, no ghost here, I guess when things went really crazy, they decided to build those new houses and the statue. Old store, yeah, we know trash at Stafford Mine. Strike. High piracy. Yeah, I get, who doesn't take rhubarb pie? It's like the best kind of pie. Okay, I think we've seen everything. So, let's exit out of here. So, that, that was a big lore dump, but I thought that was pretty interesting. Good slice of possum history here. We've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you ever, do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. <laughs> okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been a loop since we were in the living in caves. So we've just been a loop since we're living in caves. 
Yeah, that's the science. Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. Gotta get more accurate with my reading here. Oh. Ahem. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Boston Springs Poetry Society. You want to stick around for this? Uh, yeah, let's hear all the poetry. Tonight we have a new poem from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. She's from the big city, right? They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yeah! How did she end up here? Who knows? Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my study stories. I tell my friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Very practical poem there. Is that legal? Or Miss Quelsey? At least she's blown off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do, but neither do you know the pass I, but, but neither do you know the paths I've trudged. So it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next poem is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what you know, amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about what fish think. Definitely talks to he definitely talks to actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Ha ha ha! She's not wrong. No reception here. I wave my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians, waiting for us to die. Lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard. With a couch in the basement, the future is yours. Forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch and at the basement. They're in the house and the yard. So night we'll catch so some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast. 
and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit! <laughs> wow! Damn! Huh? She rhymed entrepreneur! I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. She always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks. I wrote it myself. Wait. Was the assumption that she didn't write it her? <laughs> nice work, Selmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Found out anything about your ghost? Yeah! Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about... There were some newspaper clippings talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow! I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places are you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there, is there an illegal one? Mm. Sure is. The Historical Society. You know, you don't, like, have to break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway, I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome! So, what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. What? I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, okay, I need to, like, actually get home. And do work. This is going to be awesome! And I'm also scared to death! You do you, mate. Ooh, more writing. What does it say? Ta-da! It's Selmers, a good poet. Thought, if I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. That? Yeah, no, that would be good. Uh, everything feels bad. Thought, never drink again or go in public. Blah, blah. What's, what's that from? I don't remember. F the cops? Oh, that's this is from uh, the... Um, a couple nights ago. Uh, thought, become a fire ghost and yell at people. Angus, uh, germ, arm. Scrolling back through this in case we wrote any hints down here. Weird autumn, inexcusable, die anywhere. Yeah, you're terrible at this space plane. Beatrice Sanello, maybe. I wonder what the turtle is. Greg rules. Aunt Malpla, Aunt Malkop is planning to kill me. I don't think she's going to do that. Mom, Dad, looks older, still funny. Your parents forgot you. Okay, and anything at the end. Pastor K, maybe we should take another look at that statue. Bruce, uh, oh yeah, he's the homeless guy, Greg Rules. Uh, miracle Rats, uh, quite a few of them now. Honey, I'm warm. Bandit Queens of the Mall. Is it Furnace? Alright, Fest. Okay, and Space Guy. Alright, we're getting a whole lot of paper in that book. Let's see what Dad has to say. Uh, yeah, seems like that's going around. Uh, the, uh, yuppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah, I thought you two were getting along. You were. We are. 
just a bump. You two, always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smartness. I got your chill and her smartassness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. Let's see. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. All right, anything else to say? I guess there is no, um, Malloy? Who's the other guy? Let's see. Yeah, uh, no television tonight, anyhow. Ah, uh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. Uh, I think we won't bother checking in there. Time to go to bed. Although, maybe we can check the internet one more time. Ooh, more messages. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Okay, I... I decay. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case... You are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. I had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? <laughs> okay, let's see what Greg has to say. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house. And then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually be... Haunted pools would actually be scary. And spooked. I'm going to bed. Okay, let's see what Angus has to say. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight shot to Possum Jump. Oh, great. We'd never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tip's hat. And, I don't know, is this Germ? Yeah, I'm guessing that that's Germ's icon. And, you know, let's give Demon Tower another chance. See if we can get past level two. Whoops. Uh, here we go. We have a technical glitch there. Okay, let's continue. Oh, yeah, continue. I thought we'd have to do the whole thing all over again. Let's see if I can. Help. So we got dash and we got slash. Uh. Find the key and then make our way to the exit. And okay, no key yet. Somewhere. I'll just run past most stuff. Oh, this looks promising. And let's dodge these guys. Oh, it's probably in that box in the middle. So wait a second, I played this level already. Just forgot how it works. Alright. Take it off the top of the uh, crypt here. Okay, time to exit. Get rid of 
these crows. Okay, that's not good. Okay, we lost a lot of health there. Hmm, we need to make some of that back. So, which of these pots have health in them? Looks like we're gonna have to collect them anyhow. Oh, there's a pink thing. Over here. So, knowing my ability, with my reflexes, we're probably going to need all the health we can get. Ah, ah, no, no, no. Oh, so much for collecting health. We need that. Oh, there's one. Can't get any more. Oh, there's one up there. Sometimes you use ones like that you have something in it. At least that's what I recall. No, is that the best we can do? Now that one guy just really messed us up. Alright, we're gonna have to make do with what we have. And not stuck in the river of blood there. Just leave you guys alone. So there is the door. Oh, they respawned. Uh, I don't think we can get that one in the middle there. Alright, well, let's hope this is good enough. We only have about one hit left though. There we go. I was worried. I was almost certain I was going to mess that up. Okay. Next. Level 3. Selkie outskirts. Selkies, those, those are sealed people, right? Ooh, armored skeletons now. Spikes. Yeah, this game is 
probably gonna be harder than anything I can do. Okay, what's over here? Darn it. Looks like there is two vacant spots up there. Just reminded myself which is the uh, slash button. And you gotta be very careful not to the spikes. Oh, there was some health. things. Oh, those are rat groups. Okay, let's get that health back. Stay away from those. So you called what? King rats, I think? Something like that. But over there, they're pretty dangerous. Okay, and you know what? Let's make sure we don't get ambushed from the back. The biggest thing is just to play. Darn it! Those red guys are fast. Okay, we'll give this one more shot. Luckily, the key isn't too far away. Come on. I was pointing down, he didn't go down. It's not right. Everyone here? I don't think so. I think we can just leave them. Oh no. Okay. That was close. Alright, now we got the key. So I think the key to this is like dodge as much as you can. Oh, wait a second. Let's get some health. Because we're gonna need some of that. And let's take the long way around. We don't want to risk those spikes there. There we go. So no time left. Oh, I was facing the wrong way there, but we got through it. So back this way. You know what? Let's clear out these guys, just so they don't sneak up behind us. Oh, there's two of those guys. How do we get over the river of blood? I think we have to press a switch somewhere. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Ah, I gotta scratch my nose here. Okay. So far, so good. Here comes another guy. Hmm. Let's get this bird guy over here. So I'm not sure what we're supposed to do to activate those guys. What happened to those rat balls we saw earlier? So what if we pick up one of these? 
No, we can't pick it up if we are at full health. Whoops, sorry about that. Stay far away from those spikes. I think those little plants on the ground are like arrows pointing in a direction. Okay, we've been there. I think this is where we started. Uh, not seeing a lot of direction where we have to be going. Let me find those uh, rat things the first time. Come on, rat babies. You know all about raising rats. everything. That's the new plan. Still not getting a lot of clues. Already been over here. I get the feeling that we've been everywhere here already. And we can't just jump in the river, right? If we did, we'd probably get killed. And even if we could uh, take the hit on the blood. And like, where are those rat things from earlier? Did we go a different route? Nope. Can't do that. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Last time. All right, we forgot to do this time. Uh, there has to be a switch or something. That yeah, we accidentally walked on or something. anything though. Just gonna have to comb the walls room by room. Okay, so there's nothing up there. It's like the first time we didn't do anything extraordinary, I don't think. Mostly we're just trying to go directly to the end. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we came through here. And this is where all the rats were. We step on here. That didn't do anything. And we can't get in there. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't have like arrows or something. Hmm. This is probably not terribly exciting, just watching me wander around this uh, big maze. Well, if I don't find anything shortly, I'm going to be going... Uh, I'll just exit and go on with the rest of the game. What did we do the first time? I didn't go down there the last time. No, not seeing anything. not seeing anything. Well, I'm going to surrender to the horror, and maybe we can come back to that a little bit later. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to rewatch the, uh, rewatch what I did in order to figure out how we, uh, got, to, uh, further last time. Anyhow, time for bed. Or time for base. Hmm, once more. But which song? Let's try something a little bit harder than Space Dragon. Let's try Cycles. That song, you know that song. This game has a lot of good music for it.
Yeah. So I'm not perfectly in sync with the music, but the game is being very generous on my, my butt presses. pretty good. Yeah, these rhythm games are tricky. Not bad considering I don't know how to play this song. Oh, we got another. Oh, there's our Autumn Leaf song. All right, time for bed. Bedtime. Yuppers. So, go on to the graveyard tomorrow. Ooh, another dream. Okay, this time let's remember where we started. Uh oh, oh. That's a long way down. This is a lot more complicated than last time. Is that the same song as last time? I like these spooky musicians. Okay, nothing over there. And I love this building on the side. They got some really inspired choices for the art in this game. Let's see, can we go down here? Nope. Let's 
see if we can remember where we started to. And we don't spend this going round and round circles again. I like that one dream sequence. Ooh, did you see May's shadow reflect around the clouds there? That was cool. An upside down person in the window. Just hope I don't slip and fall. Okay, back this way. There is the saxophonist. Now, where did we start? Can I remember? I think it was over here, maybe? Yep. Let's take a look at that crescent right there for a second. Okay. Back here. Spooky heron this time. And a new day dawns. All right, your eyes and shine, mate. Check the internet. And there's all three of our friends. Let's start with B. Last night inspired me. For longest night I'm getting you a for longest night I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Yeah, make you probably use that. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Perks of the job. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and how cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. <laughs> hey, Sharkle is still Sharkling. I think that's enough mini games for now. Let's get on with our day. Any more wisdom from the clock? Nope. Let's go see what mom's up to. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. They say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bath. They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Ugh. What'd you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. All right, that was an interesting bit of time we spent at the library there. This town has quite the history. I like the poetry reading too. Got uh, some pretty deep insights there from Selmers. Oh, and the construction crew's gone. What's over here? Uh, let's take a look. Farming. I could farm. If I could stay in town long enough. I could see getting into the farm life. Problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like even if you don't have animals, you actually have yeah, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. I think May can make a great farmer. She's got all the essentials. She knows all the basic knowledge. I don't remember this from last time. Hmm. I 
like it. That just lets us sit on the railing there. Bridge freezes before road. Awesome springs. You're not lost. You're here. After this, a few miles to go. After this, a few miles and you go under the highway. And it's just rolling fields and farms. I miss the corn mazes this fall. And the haunted barn and, bri and bridal. Ah, uh, always next year. For campfires and corn dogs. Oh, that's as far as we go. Weird that the town ends like. Bam! Right here. There's like a line somewhere that no one can see. But you can put it on a map. That is weird. Towns do have an edge somewhere. I guess everything has an edge of some sort. Faster. Just have to make sure I don't accidentally uh, go to the right again. Alright, let's keep going. Well, let's visit our friends again. Oh, there's Selmers. Hey Selmers, you were great last night. Ah, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I'm good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Nah, maybe another time. Sure. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too. So that works out. Ahem. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? I go to the- I go to the library. No, but seriously. What's that all about? What are you up to? I play mean banjo, Clawhammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black You know Long Black Veil? Vale? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yeah, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. My music is cooler than your music, old man. Still nothing over here? Yep, still nothing. There has got to be a way up onto that wire. We can figure it out. Casey. Refresh my memory here. Casey Hartley. Casey Hartley, 19 of Possum Springs, last seen at dusk on June 27th, walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey. He was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and black canvas shoes. If you have any information as to the location of Casey Hartley at any time since his last known sighting, Please contact the Boston Springs Police Department immediately. So June 27th, so that was like three months ago. And none of these others have changed. Alright. And we might need another pretzel. the fisherman. Any more poetry? Sewer fisherman? He thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap! I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. 
right. And I don't see any uh, eels in the water this time. And Rosa is not here. What? Oh, I'm getting a terrible lag right now for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, we don't seem to be able to steal a pretzel. Maybe our mice have all the food they need. Or rats. Come on. Oh, this lag is terrible. Oh, who's this? Hello, sir. Whoa, hi down there. Ahoy there, May. <laughs> is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel. In the late afternoon. What are you doing home from school? You answer first. I guess I kind of dropped out. Oh dear, May. Yeah, uh, sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? I don't know. So, what are you even doing down here? It's, it's my side hustle. Salvi's salvage. What's that? I'm a junk man, me. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping. But I'm also a purveyor of fine goods. For the discerning antique enthusiast. Oh, okay, side hustle. Yeah. You want to come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel? Gonna be a short trip today, but... Might be fun? Uh, sure. Um, no. Hmm. Do we trust this guy? Doesn't look like the guy who abducted the kid. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, let's go exploring. Uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the kids over there. Hey, teens. I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like if anyone should ask. I got on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. Maybe we should have gone and talked to the teens first. What was... Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah, I'm intentionally making the bad decision here. And lots of folks somewhere else... And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past. Between Fort Lucien and Willow Grove. And they're, like, going out to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. And that's the side hustle. Wow. Do you think they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. There's a big underground lake here. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit, Look around, find something. But this, is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, it's years of sediment and rocks and junk. Ha, <laughs> you called it junk too. Okay, let's see, got a tenant. Oh wow, it's a thing. A sled, a really bad boat. Maybe you like sleeping in it, tiny garbage hammock. Should I take this garbage bed? Uh, no. Let's see what else we have. Eh. What's the other option? Huh. Big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Uh, let's see what else we got. Nope. Well, these are two choices. A snowshoe or an axe. Hmm. Let's go with the axe. Uh, yes. It's so big and axy. Uh, could we take both? Should I take this garbage bed? 
Instead of the garbage axe? Uh, no. Yeah. Guess we could come back later. I'm not sure which of those we're gonna need. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe! Oh, nice! Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murder garbage axe! Yeah, you could conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh dear. I think, uh, I think Mr. Salvi should be afraid of me here. Okay, and we're heading back. And somehow he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Oh, who do we know who had a limp? I forget. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. Yeah, I get the sense that May's the only one here who doesn't work. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back there where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we... wait, why? We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats. But bats like bugs. And bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. That mostly go away, well, that mostly go for a while. That mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready, we're coming up on a place where they like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. Here we go, up above me. Uh, oh. There we go, so we gotta scare the bats. Wow! Did most of them leave? I think so. There sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no backing on my boat. Sooner swim back than have them on my goddamn boat. Okay, 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 no bats. No bats. All right, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! Any more bats? Don't see any bats. You gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> You're sarcastic, like your dad. Did, do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, some of us... Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Stutter's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Gross got a six-point buck. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. All right, let's see what's here. And all right, we're not gonna go back just yet. So, oh my God, it's a coconut monkey. Like the one granddad, like the one dad, ah, like the one granddad bought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? Uh, go nah for now. It's kind of stinky and soft. What are our other choices? And choice number two. Holy shit! Dracula teeth! These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? From a garbage dump? <laughs> Blah! Uh, I don't know, I kind of like the coconut monkey, but these are cool too. Okay, let's take the Dracula teeth. It seems like more of a May thing. Why do Dracula say blah? I'm gonna put these on in and find out. Should probably clean them first. Good idea, mate. Find anything good? Dracula teeth! Oh wow! I remember these. They still make them. Now there's a market that never goes away. 
People will always want to be Draculas. I don't want to be a vampire. No choice. I'm going to put these in. Oh, God, please don't. They're disgusting. Going to bite ya. All right, let's keep going. Blah. And that's how I saved the longest night. Haha, <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No, I'd spoil the magic. Did you ever notice? Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. All right, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever. Get the light ready and shine them up there to get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Already ahead of you. Here they come. Go away, bats. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got him good. Phew. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. Ha. <laughs> Well, at my age, that's plenty good enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are there down here? Oh, I ain't counted. Seem to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Alright, garbage island number three coming up. Whoa! old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can imagine this place... I can't imagine this place still up and running. Was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars, they were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. Okay. What treasures do we have this time? Uh, oh, huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's pretty, though. Do I want this thing? Uh, well, let's leave that as sports mystery for now. It's gross, and I don't care about sports anymore. Yeah, I'm not really big into sports myself. Oh, nice! Football, our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter, in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Could probably stop a bullet, even. I don't know. Smells inside, though. Do I want this thing? Yeah, I think a football helmet could be useful. Yeah, it's functional. And no idea what the sports mystery thing is. Some wedge-shaped object. Okay, that's enough. Find anything good? Football helmet. Oh, you sure you want that? Did I finally find something you want? Well, I mean, it's cool. You take it. No, it's all right. It's your boat. It's your garbage. You can have it. No, that's fine, mate. No, I think you should have it. No, mate, you take it. Take it! I don't want it. Neither do I. Take it! It's yours. God damn you, take the effing helmet! No! Ah! You go straight to hell! Now that, that's your ride there, mate. Don't yell at him too bad. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry I yelled. Me too. You happy with your helmet? Yeah, it's functional. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here, though. 
unless you clear him off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh wow, is that where we're going? Well, you got rid of most of the bass back there, so maybe we can make one last stop. At the big one. The big one? I thank God it... I thank God I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough. River just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir, too. I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. Twenty years old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. All right, here we are. The big one. See the big platform here. Wow. This looks like something I dreamed. Or something. It's familiar some ways. Back then, they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come big flood? But nah, they went right along with the water. Bobbing up and down. Crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you going to do? Dam up the river? Dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah. <sighs> you going to look around? Have to say, not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes in from the side channels. Gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Okay, what do we have this time? Hmm. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone brought someone bought this to keep something safe. Or a secret. Do I want to take this? Let's go for no. It's just junk now. And I got nothing to lock up anyways. Lock could be useful. Oh, is that a musical instrument? Wow! Wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Let's go for now. I got nowhere to put it. And I can't play it. Also feel like some horn playing ghost is gonna haunt me if I take it from here. And that's as far as we can go that way. Alright, let's take the trumpet. Do you want this? Yeah! It's really pretty. It should have someone to appreciate it. And the lock is a sounds cool too, but I like the trumpet more. Yeah, we'll see if any of this junk is actually useful for anything later. Find anything good? Horn! It looks like a pack horn, maybe. Gonna clean it out. Maybe play it. Or at least make some noise. Good plan. It's really pretty. He's probably better at this than bass. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. Me, music hero. Here we are. Wow. Back to the starting platform here. Nothing to say. Oh, and there is a mural. So that's it. That's the other mural. So, yeah, yeah, basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. Hmm, I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgot maybe, but not forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. That's 
It's pretty deep, May. You okay, May? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. Four people heading into the woods there. Okay, that was an interesting side quest. What do we get here? We got the leaf, we got the bats. That was interesting. I got the feeling that the things we picked up aren't gonna come, aren't uh, gonna be used again. What do you have to say here? Thanks for joining me. That was great. I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor! I'm gonna get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorks. That's the spirit. Take care. You too, good luck. That was sort of a neat kind of spooky side venture there. And here's the first mural. I wonder if it's the same people, just further down, further, further down. And where are those kids we were talking to earlier? Don't see them. And boy, I'm getting a lot of lag on this. Just gonna take a second, see if there's anything that I can close. Let's see if I close this. Over here, that might make things a little faster. Hopefully. All right, back to the game. All right, so much atmospheric stuff going on. Hey, you never told me why, why you were feeling down the other day. Uh, do I gotta tell you everything? Nah, nah, just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. What else going on? Ooh, uh, yeah, the apartment. They were saying that they did some work on the roof. We can now actually get to the roof. Uh, no, we can't call Angus anymore, so let's go up here. Okay. We have a new location. Can't seem to get up there. Let's go down here then. What's the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Ah, geez, we need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. There's gonna be like yam riots because not enough yams. Worse reasons. Did we talk to this person before? I don't remember. Yeah, we did. We uh, climbed up the rocket thing. And here are these guys again. Okay, let's try that one more time. And this time we're going left. And this way. It's over here. Hey, okay. What the hell is a malt? I I often wonder that too. I think this is kind of like beer that's not quite made. In. Uh, it's uh, it's sort of pre-beer, I think. When the hops have only just started to uh, ferment. Okay, so far we're not getting up on the top. Okay, one more time on the roof, May. Okay, how do we get up there? Let's try a running jump. Ah, no, we missed. Uh, 
Alright. Come on, mate, you can do this. Jump. Jump. Missed. God damn it. Have we been up here before? No, I don't think so. So tempting. I mean, let's. I mean, obviously, we have to be able to get somewhere new from the roof. Whoops, not you. But where? again. I think we had some sort of object we could put here. Maybe one will show up later. Jump? No, I don't think this is going to work. Oh well, we can come back and try later. In the meantime, more folks to talk to. Yeah, I think that was the, uh, past abilities. Oh, yeah, let's go see how Angus is doing. Hey, Angus. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Um, yeah, let's go with Angus. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I verified you're a dead person. It could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Or maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. And we enter the park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh, I think that's the first time we mentioned Casey. That's like, it was at really at the start. Hey, Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Well, clearly. I don't know. You can't go through to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess there is some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's, it's a weird old place up here. There is all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Nothing else on the post board. Ah, oh, you're too slow, Angus. Pretend you're in the Boy Scouts again. You have like a race badge you need to get or something. 
Ooh, that looks neat. <sighs> Y'all right? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Uh, do you have an inhaler? Don't you run, didn't you run cross country back in junior high? Yeah, but I never finished a race. Why'd you keep doing it? I have no idea. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Kiln? Limes? Limestone. You like do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh! Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa! No way! Whoa! I know, right? Like, right where we're standing. There were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Go with that. Can you make an aligned kiln? Maybe like pots and pottery? Or bricks or something? Of course, this is a coal mine in town. Oh, here's another one. <sighs> Ooh. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. So, if this place was underwater, where'd that water go? Why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? Where'd that water go? I don't know. To the ocean, I guess. And like the earth is always shifting, so mountains get all pushed up where it used to be just flat ground. Weird because things are so boring nowadays. To think like all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. To find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Alright, next kiln. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he's really in bad shape. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Makes the most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. So what's up here? I think it's the remains of that old possum statue. Wow. Wow? My old scout camp. Used to come up here with my troop, like a decade ago. You're the ancient sea monster now. Looks like it. Hmm. Got a platform there. Oh, something to say? Wow. Looks like some of the whirly note things came back. The what? Uh, we made these little windmill things, and each put an anonymous note in them. Attached it to this little spring-controlled helicopter, and the idea was that when the wind would pick up, the windmill would wind up the helicopter, and the note would fly away. Looks like some of them blew back. That's 
An amazing coincidence. Oh no, that was the idea. Each year we'd read notes left from the year before. I'm gonna see if I can find any more. I'm gonna hike up here. Been a while. Yeah, so those are those weird helicopter things we've been finding around. I think there might be some more. I spotted them. Cool. I'm gonna look. Aye aye. Let's find those. I haven't seen any of those helicopter things yet. Oh, these things. Got one. Got one. Okay, so they're caught in the bushes. Got one. So these are all the uh, things we wound up from before. So these are notes from Angus's old troop. Was that all of them? Uh, I think so. Just uh, we'll check in to be sure. Yeah, that looks like all of them. Alright, Angus, let's read these. I think you got them all, from what I can spot at least. And I got the high vantage point. Let's read them, let's read them. Wait, should we though? We gotta leave them for the scouts. Oh, it's fine. Anyone's up here wouldn't last the winter anyway. Okay, 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 let's read one. Here, okay, here's one. Hi, I'm not supposed to write my name. And that's fine, because I am a scout. And that is the only name I need. Wow, that's intense. It goes on. The scouts gave me more than a name. They gave me badges to show me my worth. Jeez. I will kill for the scouts. That's it. It's quite the advertisement for the scouts here. Were you all like this? Kinda. Sometimes. No. Maybe. Okay, let's read this here. Read it! <laughs> oh dear. What? I am super, super gay. <laughs> nice! Angus, did you write this one? Jeez, I could have. I think my note was about, like, being strong good. And gay as hell, apparently. I think my total gayness came through the dis yeah. I think my total gayness came through to the, to the discerning reader. That is so hard to pronounce. All right, let's read this note. Ahem. I like shooting arrows. They are cool to shoot. In fact, I think we should shoot arrows instead of guns. When we're in the army, it, is, it has a tactical advantage in that it is silent and also elegant. Huh. Yeah, I got nothing. Hmm. What? Not much changes. I could just as easily could just as easily been our notes from ten years ago. Yeah. There's like a timelessness about people. Some things don't just stop. Some things just don't stop being what we are. In. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that was a hike. It's dark now. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Those gravestones? Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... Ah, uh, forget. They were involved in the Boston Massacre. That was like a labor strike thing. Where it was like... Where it was like the miners versus the National Guard. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. 
Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there is one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Heh, <laughs> just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. So I guess those were the uh, federal agents. Or maybe, well, maybe just some people hired to shoot the miners. Can't really see these guys seeing the miners as the bad guys. Wow, we're up really high and really far out. I can't see town from here. South of us, behind whatever that ridge is. So what, are we supposed to wait and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're really expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Hmm. Last night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and all the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never, never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at the longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh well. It was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay then. Huh. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just the ones I remember. Or I dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Okay, let's see. Is that a weird minigame? I don't remember seeing any constellations. Okay, there's some stars over there. Okay, this one kind of looks like the Big Dipper. That's Cassiopeia down there. There's the right answer. Okay, so we can draw it like that. Nope. Okay, that one stayed. I recognize. Did you two go together? Nope. Yeah, uh, look these guys. Nope. Okay. How about you? Okay, there's a match. Yeah, this one I think is Cassiopeia. No, it is not. This is some weird made up constellation. Okay. Nope. This reminds me of playing Stellaris, actually. 
wonder if we can like build trading hubs on these stars. Can you join up? Oh, do these join? music in the background there. No. Do you join? Okay. Alright. Who is left? I feel this is going to be a lot of trial and error. for like 30 minutes trying to find the last uh, two lines. Okay, it's a whale. And it's got like the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Yeah, kind of a lot of responsibility. Did the whale consent to this? I think it always, I think it just always was that way. Oof. Gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically, who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something. I mean, whales are pretty big. They didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. Alright. I think I see how this pattern goes. Nope. Those don't match. There we go. Oh, that's a pope. He breathes fire. This one is oh, this one is real, or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside the church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Do you not know your saints at all? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up to the church now. I haven't gone for, I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. It's a cat. It's got arrows, he's got arrows sticking out of them. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. I don't remember his name. He lived, uh... Do you remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah, like that play we had. My granddad used to tell me, uh, Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like shiny things, was good at getting through the forest. It was really good at stealing. Oh well, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye. Looking at you. Oh, that's a... I know this one a little from, like, prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think you die when it rings, and when it's... I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Let's go with that one. Well, crap. It's high up enough, it's always kind of looking at all of us, right? God damn. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, I don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? 
I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you. Or how much Greg has told you. But I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Uh, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like, um... You didn't have to talk about it. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. She like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. <sighs> she like, shoved me into the pantry and slammed the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She locked me in there for like a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal to the neighbors. Or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing? Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom's kind of old now. I, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother who's overseas in the army. My dad left like 10 years ago, so who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Ha, ah, well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't, like, yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. Save me a little bit, I guess. Cause when someone does all that stuff to you, it can make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts or God. So like, I feel like if I had been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Uh... Well, so like the constellations, I don't believe there is a whale out there, but I uh, believe that the stars exist, and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know, we're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders, and we'll find the patterns. And we're like, really put Ah, and like we really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. But like God found them. Like when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely smart person, Angus. I try. 
but I know more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There is someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall. Wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about being I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. All right. Arr! Pass the man in the coat. Oh, no, here he comes. Thought for a moment that may have just been like a dummy, but uh, no. <sighs> <sighs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was a ghost. Or <sighs> it was some weirdo who lives out here. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party where you want through the party where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. Ugh. Why does nobody believe me? Hey, it's like every other explanation is more likely. Than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. <sighs> okay. What's in the journal now? No clues, but Angus saw him too. Thought Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. That, that could be uh, that could be the solution. And oh, uh, they got the constellations there. One more time. Maybe we should uh, go take another look at that statue. Talk to Dad here. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah. Weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. I need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Uh, no. What was... No more Garbo. That's it. Garbo and Malloy. I guess we've seen all the, all the Garbo and Malloy. And we can't go out. So, let's get to bed. Take one more look at the crawl space. Hmm, got 
gotta be a way to open the safe. Well, we don't know what it is yet. All right. Okay, up to bed. Actually, how's the picture doing? The picture's fine. A snapshot of the past. Take another look at the computer here. Here's Done It Wolf. Okay, Let's see what B has to say. Hey, B, you awake? Ah, uh, ah, uh, very much I am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the same. We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow. Okay. Hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is annoying. Ang Angus is a annoyingly strident atheist doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah! Okay, whatever. Sorry, for what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life? Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wow, how'd you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since like 8th grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like... You're not like the glue holding us all together. Angus kinda is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm, Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Uh, talk to you later. See what Greg has to say. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Uh, did he not tell you about it? Yeah, it was great until it was super scary. Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, he did. You guys saw a weird creeple, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. Okay. Hey, May. Hey, May. This is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird. But there are folks up there that... But there are folks that live up there in that park. And there are hunting camps and stuff, so it was most likely so it was most likely a guy out hunting a buck early. Dude, I felt like it. I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. You can put Greg back on. Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artiste. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. All right, off to bed. Night, dude. Right, so Greg totally faked our Angus there? Okay, what does Angus have to say? Hey, me, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Angus, so I'm smart, and I have a great ass. <laughs> blah, blah, you... Two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. It's a dick with his hat on it and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. <laughs> Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey. Hey, May. Hey, May, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> Alright, those two are having fun. And that's that. Good night, Donut Wolf. And 
Oh, uh, here's that uh, the helmet we picked up, and the Dracula teeth, and the uh, the horn. So treasures from our underground adventure. All right, bedtime. Yes. Is that the moon? Doesn't quite look like the moon. Might be. Uh oh. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing I've thought to talk to. The first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. Hmm. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are all those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town? It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. What? A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond there and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Ooh. Ah Oh God, oh God. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? Closing the sky? Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay, I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. 
Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond, and now there is only the whole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my hole? What about my friends? What about the trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Let's go. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are a monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget, before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Well, that was depressing. dawns you know I think I will end this here this has been quite a while but uh, interesting story so far I wasn't expecting this uh, game when I first started it to be quite this sort of in-depth or philosophical or uh, or deep for uh, to choose a different word but uh, I'm kind of liking it I'm digging it I like all the the side quests and stuff but um, yeah I think that's enough for today I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, come back uh, later when I next have a chance to stream. And we will go further into A Night in the Woods. Thanks for watching. <laughs>